The RAF Woomera Range Complex WRC is a major Australian military and civil aerospace facility and operation located in South Australia, approximately 450 kilometers (280 miles) northwest of Adelaide. The WRC is operated by the Royal Australian Air Force RAF, a division of the Australian Defence Force ADF. The complex includes both the land area of 122,188 square kilometers (47,177 square miles) and the airspace that is restricted and controlled by the RAF for safety and security. The WRC is a highly specialized ADF test and evaluation capability operated by the RAF for the purposes of testing defence materiel. The word Woomera is an Australian indigenous word of the Darug language of the Eora people of the Sydney Basin. A Woomera is a wooden spear throwing device. Woomera was adopted initially as an appropriate name for the settlement of Woomera, also called Woomera Village, located within the complex. The complex has been variously known as the Anglo-Australian Long Range Weapons Establishment and then the Woomera Rocket Range, the RAF Woomera Test Range and in 2013, the facility was reorganised and renamed to the RAF Woomera Range Complex WRC. The ground area of the WRC is defined by the Woomera Prohibited Area WPA and includes the Nuringar Test Area NTA, with a land area of 122,188 square kilometres 47,177 square miles. The WPA is described by the RAF as the largest land-based test range in the Western world. The Woomera Prohibited Area Coordination Office WPACO, coordinates daily operation of the complex which comprises a mix of South Australian Crown land and is covered by pastoral leases and mining tenements granted by the Government of South Australia. The Woomera Prohibited Area Advisory Board monitors the operations of the WPA and the WPACO. The airspace above the WPA is called the Woomera Restricted Airspace and is controlled by the RAF for safety and security reasons during the conduct of some activities on the complex together with the support of Air Services Australia. The complex also contains the RAF Base Woomera, or the RAF Woomera Airfield, that describes the dual runway military airfield located 3 nautical miles 5.6 kilometres, 3.5 miles north of the settlement of the Woomera village. The airfield has been in military operation since a RAF Dakota landed at Woomera on 19 June 1947. Etymology and broad definitions The word Woomera is an Australian indigenous word of the Darug language of the Eora people of the Sydney Basin. A Woomera is a wooden spear throwing device. Woomera was adopted initially as an appropriate name for the settlement of Woomera, that is also called Woomera Village, based on a recommendation from Group Captain Alfred George Pither. Since its establishment in 1947 and its renaming in 2016 as the RAF Woomera Range Complex, the defence facilities have been variously known as the Anglo Australian Long Range Weapons. 
establishment and then the Woomera rocket range between 1947 and 1980 when it was operated by the Australian government as a defence research and long-range weapons testing range. Since 1980 the complex has had various other titles and in more recent years, the RAF facility has mainly been known as the RAF Woomera Test Range. In 2013, and as part of the ongoing redevelopment and remediation of Woomera into its next generation configuration in readiness to support the ADF's Force 2030 plan, the range facility was reorganized and renamed to the RAF Woomera Range Complex (WRC). The ground area of the WRC is defined by the Woomera Prohibited Area. Area WPA and includes the Nuringar Test Area NTA. The WPA covers an area of 122,188 square kilometers, 47,177 square miles, and is described by the RAF as the largest land-based test range in the Western world. The WPA is highly prospective and the Government of South Australia and Geoscience Australia have assessed that by 2025 about $35 billion worth of iron ore, gold and other mineral resources are potentially exploitable from within the WPA. Access to the WPA for non-defence use requires Commonwealth approval and is on the proviso that defence activities will not be unduly compromised. The ground area of the WPA is bound generally by Woomera in the southeast, Roxby Downs and the village associated with the Olympic Dam Mine in the east, William Creek in the northeast, Kuba PD and further north to the 28th parallel, Maralinga in the southwest, and the Trans Australian Railway and Tarkula in the south. The WPA is divided into green, amber, and red zones, representing infrequent, periodic, and frequent defence use, respectively. Easements through the WPA allows public transit on the Tarkula Alice Springs Railway, Stewart Highway, Lake Kadabarawirakana Road, Olympic Dam Highway, B97, William Creek Road, as well as the Woomera Village. Permits are required to use the Ann Beadle Highway. From time to time, and for safety reasons, Defence is able to close access for short periods along these easements during the conduct of tests carried out on the complex. The Woomera Prohibited Area Coordination Office WPACO coordinates daily operation of the complex which comprises a mix of South Australian Crown land and is covered by pastoral leases and mining tenements granted by the Government of South Australia. The Woomera Prohibited Area Advisory Board monitors the operations of the WPA and the WPACO and recommends amendments to coexistence policies and procedures, develop high level relationships between defence and the resources sector, resolve disputes between defence and non defence users, report annually on the balance of interests in the WPA, and conduct a review every seven years of the balance of interests in the WPA. Its members are comprise appointments from the Australian and South Australian governments. The airspace above the WPA is an integral part of the WRC. Entry into Woomera Restricted Airspace WRX is controlled by the RAF for safety and security reasons during the conduct of some activities on the complex. Air Services Australia defines the exact limits of restricted airspace in their annual handbook. 
When required, the RAF issues a notice to airmen (NOTAM), which effectively closes access to any part of the WRX when safety or security needs require such action during the conduct of defense activities at the complex. Topic: History. The ground space of the complex is known as the Woomera Prohibited Area and measures 122,188 square kilometers (47,177 square miles). It was first declared a prohibited area in 1947. Topic. Military use Topic <inaudible> Anglo Australian Germany's use of V-1 flying bombs and V-2 rockets during World War II prompted the British to establish their own rocket testing program. However, the density of population in the United Kingdom made testing risky, so the British turned to Australia, asking for a site with a long testing corridor containing minimal population. The two nations joined in the Anglo-Australian Joint Project, a Commonwealth weapons design and test program established in 1946. Surveying the 2,300 km miles range from Woomera to the far north coast of Western Australia was initially conducted by the Army's Australian Survey Corps initially under Major L. Lockwood from 1946 in South Australia's far north. One of the Survey Corps members who commenced work there in 1947 was Len Beadle. Australia was responsible for providing the testing facilities, personnel, and most of the funding, while the United Kingdom supplied most of the scientific equipment and personnel, and in addition to its financial contribution, paid for the weapons being used. At its peak, the complex had an area of 270,000 square kilometers, 100,000 square miles, most of which was in South Australia, but included a satellite range in northwest Western Australia. This was later scaled back to a total area of 127,000 square kilometers, 49,000 square miles, still the largest land-based weapons test complex in the western world. Facilities at Salisbury supported the design and testing of many weapons and upper atmospheric experiments trialed at Woomera. Weapons designed by the Joint Project and tested at Woomera include the Sea Wolf, Rapier, Sea Dart, and Bloodhound surface to air missiles, the Black Knight research rocket, the Blue Steel nuclear standoff missile, the Milkara anti tank missile, the Akara anti submarine missile, and the GAF Jindavik target aircraft. Missile testing commenced in 1949. The joint project ran until 1980. During the 1950s and 1960s, the complex was the second busiest rocket range in the world next to Cape Canaveral. When the Anglo Australian Joint Project began to wind down in the early 1970s, the village population began to rapidly drop from its peak of about 7,000 residents in the mid 1960s. 
However, with the establishment of the USAF, ADF Joint Defense Communications Facility at the nearby Nuringar site in 1969, approximately 18 kilometers (11 miles) south of Woomera, along with its 1,100 permanent staff, the village population stabilized at around 4,500 people, including around 800 children. In the late 1990s, as the Nuringar program was winding down, the ADF reassessed the role of Woomera in its future force structure. What became apparent to the ADF at that time was that the Woomera test range was the only land-based test range left in the Western world capable of testing the next or what is now termed fifth generation of weapons systems within a fully instrumented, land-based, specialized test and evaluation range. This assessment was to result, positively, in redefining the future role and strategic importance of the Woomera Range complex within Australia's long-term defence requirements. <laughs> United States Deep Space Station 41 During the early 1960s, the Woomera Range participated in the Mercury and Gemini space programs. Specialized tracking and communications stations were set up at Red Lake about 50 kilometers 31 miles north of Woomera and at Miracata about 200 kilometers 120 miles west of Woomera. These stations also played an important part in the first moon landing mission. However, one of the most significant facilities installed by the United States was the nearby, and highly specialized, Deep Space Station 41 This facility was constructed at the edge of Island Lagoon about 25 kilometers 16 miles south of Woomera and was directly supported from the Woomera Defense Village. DSS-41 played a role in the «race for space» from the mid-1950s to the mid-1970s when the main tracking systems were dismantled and returned to the United States. While none of the DSS-41 facility exists, the roadworks and building sites for this facility can still be seen. After the cancellation of the joint project, the complex was operated by Defence Research Centre Salisbury former Weapons Research Establishment, now Defence Science and Technology Organisation in support of Australian defence projects as they arose and also in support of German and NASA sounding rocket launches to observe the supernova 1987A and other astronauts astronomical experiments. Woomera then focused on supporting the nearby joint Australia-United States Joint Defence Space Communications Station, Nuringar. The surveillance facility closed in 1999. Australian During the 1990s it became apparent to the RAF that Woomera was the only land-based test range left in the Western world that was large enough for the testing of the next generation of weapons systems often now referred to as fifth generation systems which Australia was soon to begin acquiring. Beginning with the instrumented range, range e in 1991, the RAF has gradually taken over responsibility for the operation of the whole complex on behalf of the Department of Defence. 
In 2009, Joint Project 3024 was established to upgrade the Ranger's instrumentation systems, and Project R7034 established to upgrade and modernize the required infrastructure. These projects have a 2020 ready point to coincide with the introduction of the Joint Strike Fighter JSF. Historically, for both Woomera and Australia, following the end of the Anglo-Australian Joint Project no further development occurred to make use of the technologies, skills and knowledge gained while the project was operating. Australia became the fourth nation in the world to build and place in orbit a satellite from its own territory that was the height, and end, of Australia's foray into space activities using its own purpose-built facility at Lake Hart the Eldo site at Launch Area 6 of the range. These launches there were two, and a third never completed are now a relic of the Ranger's significant history of space-based activities. These two old launches still tower over ten stories high over the inland Lake Hart Dry Salt Lake, but are also a mute testament to Australia's once-renowned position in space research and development. That former position, however, was recognized in 2007 with the unveiling of the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics AIAA plaque commemorating Woomera's induction into the AIAA Hall of Fame, a distinction that placed Woomera's contribution to aerospace history and development on a par with Kitty Hawk site of the first heavier-than-air controlled flight, and the Sea of Tranquility on the Moon site of the first interplanetary landing by humans by 1999 the Defense Science and Technology Organization and the RAAF's Aircraft Research and Development Unit identified the future potential for the complex, particularly as it was one of the few sites in the world where over-the-horizon weapons testing was feasible. Prior to this review, the RAAF's Aircraft Research and Development Unit ARDU, and in conjunction with the DSTO, had been continuing to utilize the former Range e instrumented facility since 1991. In the mid-1990s, ARDU took over total management of the range from the then DSTO but with the creation of Defence Estate, the administration of the Woomera prohibited area itself was handed back to a state to manage, with RAF only maintaining control over the defined Woomera instrumented test and evaluation range formerly Range E and as the instrumented portion of the WPA was then known. Over the following ten years 1997 to 2007, the RAF redefined the purpose and operation of the range and, by 2007, Chief of Air Force had again assumed full command of the entire Woomera Test Range Complex i.e. both the range and the base. The RAF Woomera Test Range WTR is the principal formation of the WRC and the primary operational reason for the existence of the range complex. Access to and use of the WRC is managed through headquarters, RAF Air Warfare Center, with the AWC's Air Force Rangers Directorate AFRD responsible for assuring the overall capabilities of the range. The day-to-day -day operation of the WTR element of the WRC is the responsibility of the Woomera Test Range Squadron WTR Squadron. 
In this role, the WTR squadron is also directly supported by HWAWC, and two OSQN and defense contractors permanently based at RAF Base Woomera. In 2007, the Woomera test range was acknowledged by the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics as a site of world aerospace historical significance. In 2016 the Australian government announced plans for an $297 million remediation of the range and the upgrade of the measuring and monitoring and sensor systems at Woomera. Raytheon Australia was awarded the contract. The works are intended to accommodate performance tests of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter and provide access for the United States military. Raytheon announced that the range would be challenged by the testing of new remotely piloted air systems, evolved network-centric warfare capabilities, and weapons fitted to the EA-18G Growlers and Joint Strike Fighters." After the upgrade Topic RAF Base Woomera RAF Base Woomera is co-managed, but as part of the wider WRC facility, by RAF Combat Support Group and the Defense Estate and Infrastructure Group CSG's role, delivered through No. 20 Woomera Squadron, is to essentially operate the Aerodrome Precinct base sector north element of the base in direct support of defense activities at the WRC. DEIG's role with the WRC is twofold. Firstly, DEIG is responsible for the operation of the village support elements of the base, i.e., base sector south, such as messing, accommodation, security, and other normal RAF base services, and secondly, DEIG are responsible for managing the wider defense estate and infrastructure needs of the entire range and base complex. Consistent with the operation of all other RAF bases, DEIG manages a range of contractors to defense to deliver the required services at Woomera. Other military use In 2013 testing began on Taranis, a drone aircraft which is the result of a joint project between UK Defence and Bay Systems. In December 2009 there were up to 10 different tests that occurred on the complex daily, and bookings for access had been made as far in advance as 2023. The increase in interest from other parties prompted the Australian government to mark $500 million in funding for Woomera in May 2009, to update tracking systems and other infrastructure. The complex is currently used for Australian Defence Force trials, and access is leased to foreign militaries and private companies for their own testing of weapons systems, rockets, and drone aircraft. <laughs> Civil aerospace use The complex has also been used for rocketry. During the 1950s, the Black Knight rocket as a component of Blue Streak was tested at the range. The first rocket launch occurred in 1957, and continued until the last satellite launch, Prospero X-3 in 1971. Australia's first satellite, WRESAT, was launched from Woomera in 1967. The complex was awarded a National Engineering Landmark in 1999. 
Although initially allowed to lapse after the cancellation of the joint project, the use of the range for rocket research later increased. In 2002, the University of Queensland launched a rocket carrying the Highshot engine, the first successful flight of a hypersonic scramjet engine. During the Cold War, Woomera had the second highest quantity and rate of rocket launches in the world after NASA's facilities at Cape Canaveral. Other launches included 1957 to 1987 258 Skylark rockets were launched with various agencies including the UK the European Space Agency and the German Aerospace Centre In the 1970s NASA launched 20 Aerobee series 150 170 200 and 200 A rockets for experimental purposes. In June 2010, the Japanese space probe Hayabusa landed on the Woomera Range complex after visiting the asteroid 25143 Atokawa. Other uses In 2011 Federal Defense Minister Stephen Smith and Resources Minister Martin Ferguson, together with South Australian Premier Mike Rann, announced that large areas of the Woomera protected area would be opened up for mining. This followed years of negotiations for the mixed use of the area, which contains many billions of dollars of mineral resources. Non defense users of the area include pastoralists, Aboriginal people, and traditional owners, mining and exploration companies with leases in the WPA, including Arium and Oz Minerals, Opal Miners tourists, research organisations and the rail operator, Genesee and Wyoming Australia. Modern mines within the area include the Challenger Gold Mine, Peculiar Knob Iron Ore Mine, Prominent Hill Copper Mine and the Ken Hill Iron Ore Mine. As of 2017, only Prominent Hill is operational. Peculiar knob is in care and maintenance owing to a weak iron ore price, while ore bodies at Cairn Hill and Challenger have been exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Security There are a considerable number of warning signs across the range and on public access roads throughout the WPA warning travelers not to leave those routes without the permission of the Department of Defense. Since the beginning of 2012, the RAF has also established, in conjunction with the South Australian Police, regular patrols of all roads and sites across the WPA to ensure public safety, particularly during periods when range activities necessitate the closure of public access roadways and other easements, such as the main trunk railway line to Darwin. Topic land area management and administration Effective from 1 January 2015, the management of the Woomera Range Complex was reorganized under the new RAF Air Warfare Center Operations management of the complex are managed through Headquarters Air Warfare Center, while day-to-day -day operation of the range is the responsibility of the Woomera Test Range Squadron, which was expected to be renamed to a numbered squadron during 2016. The Woomera Test Range Squadron is a sub-element of the Air Force Rangers Directorate which is also part of the Air Warfare Center. 
Headquarters AWC, Air Force Rangers Directorate and the Test Range Squadron are all currently based at RAF Base Edinburgh, in Adelaide, located approximately 450 km 280 miles southwest of the complex. RAF Base Woomera was formed in January 2015 by amalgamation of RAF Woomera Airfield and the Woomera Village. Number 20 Woomera Squadron was formed on 1 April 2015 to manage the operation of the aerodrome, while the Woomera Village element of RAF Base Woomera essentially continues to operate as it has done since 1982. The Defence Estate and Infrastructure Group manage the operations of the village within the new RAF base Woomera structure, but the village remains open to the public as it has been since 1982. The village remains totally owned and operated by Defence and exclusively supports the needs of Defence activities at the WRC. Access is managed by the Department of Defence Woomera Prohibited Area Coordination Office using a permit system. Topic. Woomera Prohibited Area Advisory Board The Woomera Prohibited Area Advisory Board monitors the operations of the Woomera Prohibited Area Coordination Office and meets semi-annually to recommend amendments to coexistence policies and procedures develop high-level relationships between defense and the resources sector, resolve disputes between defense and non-defense users, report annually on the balance of interests in the WPA, and conduct a review every seven years of the balance of interests in the WPA. As of 2017, the WPA Advisory Board membership included Minutes of the board from 2012 to 2016 were partially released following a Freedom of Information request in 2016. Topic. See also. British nuclear tests at Maralinga. Island Lagoon tracking station. Joint Defence Facility Nuringar List of airports in South Australia List of Royal Australian Air Force installations Talaringa Conservation Park Woomera Immigration Reception and Processing Centre